Hello friends, I am Sanjay Gupta. In this video, I am going to demonstrate you how you can move uh, an arc which is displayed on console. So you can see two header files, Conio and Graphics.h I have used in this program. Then three variables, I, GD and GM are used. So GD is for graphics driver and GM is for graphics mode. So these two variables are used in init graph function to initialize graphics. Then set color function is setting foreground color set bk color function will set background color so foreground color is green and background color is red then this loop will repeat uh, three functions delay clear device and arc so starting is one and ending is 100 and it is incremented by two so uh, delay function is used to uh, provide some gap between uh, printing of two arc uh, here then clear device function will clean the output of a particular arc so that new arc can be printed and arc function is used to uh, display multiple arcs so this loop will repeat uh, approx 50 times so 50 times delay function clear device and arc function will be executed so you can see the uh, comment uh, for arc function first argument is x axis second argument is y third argument is starting angle fourth argument is ending angle and fifth argument is radius so to move the arc i have incremented uh, value of x axis so it is 200 plus i so every time a value of x axis will be increased and previous arc will be cleared by clear device and new arc will be uh, printed on new uh, dimension uh, which will be framed by x or y so uh, x axis goes from left to right so this arc will move from left to right if you want to move uh, arc from top to bottom you have to change its y axis so first i am going to execute this program with the help of control plus F9. So you can see that arc is moving from left to right because I have uh, changed its X axis value. If you want to uh, rotate or move this arc from top to bottom, you can change its Y axis by uh, adding I into it. Now again, I am executing this code. So you can see arc is moving from top to bottom. So friends, with the help of this small change, you can move your arc from left to right or uh, top to bottom. So uh, you can also uh, change uh, starting or ending angle by uh, adding I or subtracting I uh, in third and fourth argument. So I have added I in third argument. So let's see the effect. You can see arc is moving top to bottom from top to bottom and simultaneously its starting angle is also changing. So I have changed Y axis and I have changed starting angle every time a uh, loop will be repeating. So that's why this effect is uh, uh, printed on console. So you can uh, change any particular argument which is provided inside arc function. So you can use this concept for your project work. You can uh, make your output better with this functionality. Thank you for watching this video.